Welcome to another Quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, I thought this would be a timely tutorial to show you just how to quickly and simply um, 3D model a virus. Um, so this is kind of like a x-ray look, um, just kind of a mean looking angry little virus that we're gonna show you how to make pretty quickly. So um, you can kind of see what I've done here where I have set up the scene um, with just a sphere in a subdivision surface and a light and then I have a texture so I'll just repeat these steps um, and kind of show you the side by side here so I'm gonna drag this guy over I'll move my light over with it and we'll work on this sphere initially so I'm gonna leave the radius the same but I'm gonna bring the segments down to 8 and then I'm going to use a hexahedron and that's, let's actually turn this light off for now um, and at this point we're just gonna make it editable I'm in polygon mode and I'm gonna hit control A on my keyboard and I'm going to do a extrude inner uh, make sure you uncheck preserve groups and um, you know follow these settings I have my maximum angle at 90 degrees um, and we're just going to drag and get a nice small little stalk of our virus um, and then we're going to go ahead and just extrude these out and then we'll do one more extrusion this will kind of be that bulb at the end of our virus and from here we'll go into normal scale and we'll just kind of fatten up the ends something like that so pretty pretty quick pretty straightforward let's just go ahead and throw this now in our subdivision and there we go and now if we wanted to get back in here um, these will still be highlighted if we want to kind of play with the scale and try to match it up to the other virus I have there but that's looking pretty good um, so we're basically done with the construction of our virus and I'll just grab a interactive render region and just kind of render these bad boys side by side um, cool so the next thing we need is our material um, and we're just going to create a material we're not going to worry about color but we are going to worry about our luminance channel so um, first things we need are a layer and inside this layer we are going to just grab a fresnel um, and this is where i created this kind of you know one one end of the spectrum red to the other where I kind of lightened it up at the other side all right so that's our first texture and I'll just drop this on so you can kind of follow along and watch as we play with this uh, so we're gonna go back and now we're going to add um, just a color and I'm gonna get like kind of a dark really mean looking red for this and uh, I'm going to make sure that um, this is set to add. And then we'll do one more la uh, layer, which is a shader for now. And uh, this layer, we're just going to simply multiply on top. And so now you'll see we've kind of got that X-ray vision look. Um, microscopic look of the virus all set up but we don't have any texturing so what we'll do is we'll go into our displacement and we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna grab a noise and before we dive into the texture we're gonna have to really change the height of this quite a bit I think I'm using something like 0.03 I don't know what units you're using um, I have it set to feet but it, it might be a little bit easier in centimeters to get some of that exact detail but Anyway, we'll click on the texture and we'll go in here and we're gonna grab an electric. And we're just gonna bring the scale down to, I believe like something around like 50%. And then the last thing we'll do is a sub polygon displacement. And there you go. You saw that we just kind of washed over the um, virus now with all this unique texturing. So literally only like two or three minutes we got from a simple sphere to a normal looking um, something we'd expect to see under a microscope now the last thing we can do is we can actually animate this if we wanted to um, so 
we could do like an animation speed and this way as you play through it and I'll actually render out a sample of what that looks like but you'll just kind of get this weird kind of creepy gelatinous look to the virus going on um, but you know for depending on what you're using this for um, you know you might want to go a little bit further with texturing if you're using this for a medical animation but um, you know if you're looking to put this into like a hospital animation or some kind of training video uh, it's it's pr pretty low poly pretty easy to do just relies upon a couple steps so I hope this was helpful for you and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials